Hello, let us solve this question on exterior direct agents. A belt was tied around a pulley system as shown in the diagram below. The wheel of center O has a radius of 4 cm while the wheel of center Q has a radius of 10 cm. If the distance between the centers of the two wheels is 50 cm, find A, angle OQB, 2 max, B, the length of the belt, 8 max. So those are the two questions that you're supposed to do. Now we shall begin by finding the angle OQB. That is the angle that you're supposed to find, OQB. So to find that angle, there's something that you'll be required to do. Drawing a line that is perpendicular to line BQ. Uh, we're going to draw that line that will be perpendicular to BQ. And that line should be parallel to AB. So this is a triangle that you're going to form there. AO, then that point of intersection where 90 degrees is this. Uh, so that line AB is parallel and equal to that line. Then the other line AO is also parallel to uh, the other one that you can see there. Uh, that is 4 centimeters. That is the radius. If the other radius is 4, that is 4. This is a rectangle that is formed. Let me just indicate this is 50 to be seen properly then that is the angle that we require that is the angle that you're supposed to find so i will name that point there n to make that a rectangle a b o n that is a rectangle it has two pairs of sides that are parallel and equal now if that is four centimeters look at the bq is the radius and if bn is four centimeters <clears throat> then uh, NQ NQ will be 6 so that uh, you get BQ as 10 centimeters so that is uh, the length NQ as 6 now you can see we are forming a right angle triangle OQN is a right angle triangle you are going to use a cosine to find that angle and uh, cosine of that angle is given by adjacent and adjacent is uh, NQ divided by the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is OQ. So NQ is 6 divided by the hypotenuse, the longest side, that is uh, 50. So this will give a cosine of that angle as uh, 0 0.12 when you divide 6 divided by 50. Theta is equals to get the cos inverse of 0 0.12. And this will give... Um, cos inverse of 0 0.12 using the calculator this will give 83.11 degrees and that is the angle OQB Simbo. so that Simbo. is the angle Simbo. and that is how we're supposed to calculate that angle so you get two marks for these or there will be a method mark there and there will be an answer mark there so that is the first part. Second part, the length of the belt. The length of the belt, which is 8 marks. This one involves some little bit more workings. So we're going to begin by, that is, it means the length of the belt is distance around the moving, eh? distance around the perimeter of this figure. Distance around, that is the belt. The belt will cover the two wheels. So we're going to start by getting distance AB. We are getting the whole distance around, so we begin by distance AB. And when you look at that diagram, you notice that AB is parallel to ON. Look at those two lines that we drew. It is parallel uh, to ON. And therefore, AB is the same as ON. The length will be the same. ON. AB is equal to ON. Those two sides are equal and parallel, since I told you that this forms a rectangle. So AB is equals to ON. And therefore ON is equals to. Now to get that uh, side ON, we are just going to use that triangle OQN and use our three ratios, trigonometric ratios. So not even trigonometric ratios. We, we are going to use a Pythagoras theorem because that is a right angle triangle with two sides known. And you're going to get 50 squared minus 6 squared. And this will give, um, when you subtract these, 
when we get the square root, you will get 49.64 centimeters Simple. by just Simple. using Pythagoras theorem. Triangle O Q. And so there is a side, 49.64 AB is obtained, which is the same as ON. So we've used ON to get that. Now, the next thing that you're going to find is um, DC, DC. DC will be the same, 49.64, but let me prove to you, show you why to be the same. We will have to draw another line, OD, from the radius to the tangent. <coughs> And then we have uh, the other one, uh, Q to C. That one is also radius to tangent. Don't forget the tangent radius property. The tangent is always perpendicular. Then you're going to draw another perpendicular line from the center of the smaller circle uh, to CQ. And it should be perpendicular. So 90 degrees, that point. And don't forget... Those angles are 90. The tangent and the radius always meet at 90 degrees. And also, you know the angles in a rectangle. All of them are 90 degrees. So that line, DC, is parallel again to that other line that is there. I may call that point M. So DC is equal and parallel to OM. Then that radius is 4. The other side is 4. Opposite. Then the other one will be 6. So... After getting that, now you notice for me to get DC, DC will be the same with uh, OM, OM. And calculating OM will just use uh, Pythagoras theorem. It will be 50 squared, the square root of 50 squared minus 6 squared, which will give us the same answer, 49.64. When you're calculating OM, use that triangle and you'll get that, you still get 49.64. Six, four. Now let's get that arc, the length of arc, arc A to D, that arc. Uh, I will give another letter here for naming. So arc A, W, D. Arc A, W, D. Let's go to that now. Arc A, W, D. So to get the length of that arc, uh, we shall need to use that angle that is there. We need to get that angle at the center, angle subtended by that arc. And for us to get that angle, I will need to get the angle that is on the other side, opposite, first. That is the one that will help me to get the, the whole of that angle. And to do that, let um, me start by getting this angle OAOQ. AOQ. Look at that angle. AOQ. There are other small angles here that we need to get. And uh, these angles, I'm going to indicate them here. So we need that angle, the whole of that angle. And uh, we also need these two angles. I'll call them alpha. Those two angles are equal. Alpha. Those two angles are very easy to get since we're going to use those right angle triangles and use trig ratios uh, to get that alpha. They are equal. So don't forget that... Uh, these these rectangle those rectangles have measure 90 degrees a o and b all the angles 90 degrees so to get that angle alpha we are going to use that triangle that is there one of the triangles and uh, so alpha is equals to so to which trig ratio do we use the sine cosine or tangent uh, we're going to use uh, opposite of uh, hypotenuse the opposite of that angle alpha is 6. The hypotenuse is 50. So, uh, therefore, sine of alpha is given by opposite, which is 6, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 50. So, sine alpha is equal to uh, 0 0.12. Alpha, you get the sine inverse to get alpha. Sine inverse of 0 0.12, which is 6. Point 892 degrees so each of those angles alpha is 6.6.892 6 so the two of them are like that now this this angle a o q a o q look at a o q a o n is 90 this one angle that is 90 there the angle in the rectangle 
this one angle that is 90 them and um, I want to get the whole of that angle so I'll get 90 plus 6.892 degrees uh, the reason I've added I've taken angle A O N which is 90 plus that angle 6.892 so the whole of that angle we're going to multiply by 2 because the other part is still the same so i'll multiply by 2 and i'll get 183.8 degrees Simbo. multiplying Simbo. by 2 in Simbo. order to get the whole of that angle the whole of that angle a all the way up to so that is the the whole angle is obtained so the other side i've not calculated because the same that is why i've multiplied by 2 now to get the angle that is on the other side i will take now 360 subtract 190 Three, so it will give me the other angle on the other side and um, now that is the angle that I'm going to use to calculate um, the length of that arc and I will get it as 166.2 degrees so you get that so now we can get we have the angle subtended at the center how do you get the length of the arc now the length of the arc the length of the arc AWD is given by so theta over 360 times 2 pi r so that is how we get that angle this will be the angle of the center is 166.2 divided by 360 times pi times 2 times pi we use 3.142 over 7 any can do on um, 3.142 is still okay times now the radius is 4 the radius is 4 is equals to so work out uh, this one using a calculator and uh, when you work it out you'll get 11.6 centimeters so that is the length of arc a w d just check how we got the answer we got the angle on the other side let's go to the other arc now on the bigger circle a i'll name this one as um z a but this b z c b z c that are bzc so bzc so bzc again we need to get the angle th that angle we need to get the whole of that angle subtended by that arc and since we already got uh, 83.11 that angle is the same with the other one that is remaining the one that is down there so we just need to multiply by 2 so 83.11 times 2 because of the other angle that is there and uh, this will give when you just multiply this using a calculator you get 166.2 degrees so uh, those two angles are there so we just need to now get theta 360 subtract now we need to get the angle on the other side on the other side which will be 360 know why you're using 360 because it is angles at a point angles at a point add up so this angle let me just indicate 83.11 it is the same with the other angle that is what we did on the other side still so we want the angle that is on the other side and that is why you're taking 360 subtract the two angles 360 subtract the two angles which you just multiplied and um that will give um when you subtract 360 minus 166.2 will give us the angle that we need to calculate and that will give uh, 183.8 degrees so this is what you're going to use to calculate the length of the arc so arc bzc uh i'm sorry this is a bz not bzw is there so 993.8 divided by 36 times 2 times the pi 3.142 and um the radius as you can see is 10 the radius is 10 and when you work out this one uh, you get 333.83 centimeters this is a calculator to that so 33.83 centimeters now we have the whole distance around that belt so we're going to add that that 3.83 plus that plus that as that and you get the whole distance round and uh, 
we shall do that let's do that so the length of the belt now the length of the belt is given by the length of the belt is given by we add 49.64 plus uh, we have 11.6 plus again 49.64 plus uh, 33.83 33.83 and uh, when you add all these we get um, 144.7 centimeters and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question thank you